Hello nerds and nerdettes, welcome back to the channel once again. We have another review for you guys on a indie title once again. Um, another um, comic that was really really hot in single issues similar to Something is Killing the Children and that is Ice Cream Man. This is the Sunday, Sunday edition. Sorry, it's pretty much a deluxe edition but it's Sunday edition. They want to get that wrong. Um, but it's going to be a little bit of a hot take here. Um, we'll get into why with uh, my closing thoughts, but this is a book that's been very beloved as far as in the comic book community and very well received and already has a large following. But we can go ahead and get into the overhead shots, show off some of the art. Um, and kind of the interiors of the book and then we can come back here with our closing thoughts and our overall rating as we always do we can go ahead and do that and here we are guys ice cream man the sunday edition or what i like to call it the sunday deluxe edition apparently because i continue to call it that for whatever reason but we have a beautiful cover beautiful back cover and spine similar to a lot of my indie titles came fairly beat up for whatever reason but we got to roll with the punches um, we have a matte cover and back cover with a glossy look to the ice cream man and the character on the back and getting in we have beautiful end pages this is kind of a theme throughout the book you can really really tell they put a lot of blood sweat and tears into this title into publishing this book the design overall for a lot of the pages end pages the um opening title pages the table of contents everything you can just tell there was a lot of thought put into them a lot of care and I really, really appreciate that. You can tell the creators really cared about this title. But we can go ahead and get into the book and its contents, getting into issue one, which if you guys don't know anything about Ice Cream Man, it's kind of impossible to spoil because it's just a anthology horror series, pretty much. A lot of the stories have absolutely nothing to do with one another aside from one character which is the ice cream man he typically comes into play in some way um either big or small but he typically does come into play at some point but other than that each of the stories are completely in independent and completely self-contained but as far as the contents go um it is a horror comic. I would not say it's particularly scary, um, in my opinion at least. There wasn't a whole lot of suspense or um, jump scare scenes. I mean, there was a little bit of kind of gore, blood and gore, or body horror, or um, whatever you would want to call it. But uh, other than that, I. I don't see a whole lot of horror elements in this, um, which was a little bit of a letdown for me personally, just because it is October and I really did want to have something of the horror genre when opening this book. So that was a little bit of a letdown, if I'm being completely honest. I was expecting a lot more, especially how much hype and love this title really has um but as far as the other stories there are a lot of stories for a lot of people um for your music lovers for um your western lovers sci-fi lovers um artsy people what whatever title or whatever genre you kind of enjoy there is a little bit of it in this story 
and I can really, really commend the creators and the writers for that just because that really blew me away as far as um, the <clears throat> coverage of genres in this book in just one single volume. Now, some uh, high points for me, even though I said it wasn't super scary there was obviously some points where i was enjoying the little horror elements that were in the book um one story that i really enjoyed was ballad of the falling man i feel like that had a good creepy element to it which i did enjoy and kind of gave me what i was craving when i first opened up this book Strange Neapolitan was another one where, um, similar to how Neapolitan ice cream has three flavors, this had pretty much three stories on one page going on simultaneously, which was super interesting and super creative, and I really, really enjoyed that. Um, but overall, the book's um, caught or the way it's constructed is beautiful. You could see the eye there. There's not a whole lot of splash pages in here, guys. So it's it's not like you're going to have a whole lot of good or loss no matter what. But the book is constructed very well. It's very similar to any image or boom title. So um, you kind of know if you have any boom or image deluxe editions, you kind of know what you're going to be getting here. But kind of back to the contents of the story, um, another high point was also Emergencies, a story told from the point of view of two ambulance drivers, or I, I don't know what the proper term would be, but ambulance people, whatever you would want to say, um, as the world's pretty much falling apart, they're taking psychedelics, there's all kinds of creepy odd stuff going on and there's a very interesting twist at the end um, so I really enjoyed that as well but besides the storytelling there are some very interesting lessons in here there is um, as far as lessons that you learn there's a story about drug use there's a story about love and admiration there's a story about suicide so while there are a lot of lessons to be learned here, there is a little bit of a warning as far as the contents and concepts that they do explore. Um, and this issue that you're seeing now is another very interesting concept that they explore. I would say most of the issue is in Spanish, which is super interesting, super cool that they thought of that. Um, because it does take place in Mexico and there is a pretty much entire Spanish section to the story there which I'll show a little bit later there is going to be a translation in the back for non-Spanish speakers but it's just again another cool concept that they thought of and explored um, there's also a issue I believe it's Hopscotch Melange Part 2, I believe, or maybe it's Part 3, but there's an entire episode dedicated to TV shows and men and a guy jumping in and out of TV shows. A lot of poking fun at things like the Kardashians or cooking shows, which is super interesting and super fun. But again, just didn't exactly scratch the itch that I had for a actual horror slash actual scary title or story. Um, so because of that, I didn't I didn't enjoy it. it as much as I feel like other people did, just because I was expecting so much more, and maybe it was the hype that I was witnessing getting to my head. I'm not too sure, but. Um, I definitely just kind of wanted more of that 
you know, feeling that we all want during spooky season. It, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And that just didn't encapsulate it enough, or this title didn't encapsulate it enough for me. And um, that was definitely a little bit of a disappointment. Um, but as far as the content, you get a whole slew of them. You get scripts, sketches, breakdowns, um, explanations, everything you want. Here is where you're going to find the translation for the Spanish-speaking story or the Spanish story. Um, so again, that's really cool that it's back here. They pretty much thought of everything, which is super creative, super fascinating. And there's also a page where they talk about how they hired a designer, here it is here, um, that designed each one of the end pages of the issues. So a lot of blood, sweat, and tear here, but we can pick up in my final thoughts. And we're back. So if you couldn't tell by the voiceover for the overhead shots, I was not a huge fan of this book. Um, a little bit of a hot take. I'm sure I am in the hot seat, the burning hot seat, and the minority there. But to each your own, I mean, as far as taste of comic books and stories. Um, overall, I didn't find anything in this book really horror-like. Um, I felt like it felt like a episode of Twilight Zone somewhat, but a lot of the imagery I didn't find disturbing or chilling or or anything along those lines. I kept checking the back of the book and seeing that horror title on the back and kept getting more and more confused. With that being said though, this is a great comic book to have in the collection just because of some of the concepts and ideas that they do do inside of this book. Some really interesting, really, really creative stuff that they do in here. So I'm not knocking the book as far as its creativity goes. There's nothing really like Ice Cream Man out and and hasn't been anything like Ice Cream Man probably since the horror anthology stories and stuff that Marvel was putting out back in the early days. But... Um, overall, it did, I don't think it, uh, kind of captured what I wanted reading it in October during spooky season. So, all in all, the book overall, kind of my impression after reading, I'm gonna have to give it, like, a 6 out of 10. Um, just because I wanted something a little bit more scarier. I've read a lot of manga that really, really captures that edge on on or on the edge of your seat kind of feeling with almost like jump scare style panels and things like that so I know it can be done very well it just wasn't in this book in my opinion at least but really still enjoyed it just because of the concepts and stuff explored and um, some of the overall lessons that you can kind of learn from the stories but um, that's pretty much my my review and coverage of this title so if you could definitely let me know down below if you agree or disagree with anything that I said in this video I know this title has a lot of fans and I'm curious if there is anyone that kind of shares a similar opinion to me at all so I would be interested in that and of course also comment down below if there's anything else you want me to cover if maybe one of the horror mangas that I find to be much more scary if you'd want me to cover that kind of of how it's well done in those titles um and of course hit that subscribe and that bell icon so you can join the Illuminati and be notified anytime I put out content but other than that just don't forget to stay nerdy